Welcome back to Far Cry 6. In the last video, we had some great things happen and some bad things happen. We helped the Gorillas take down two of Anton's warships, but Julio decided to stay behind to make sure they blew up. When he didn't check in, we knew something was wrong. And something was. Soldiers captured him. Anton forced his son Diego to watch as they beat Julio to death. Anton gave his son Diego a gun and told him to shoot Julio. Little did Diego know that was going to be an act of mercy. Diego's too young to pull the trigger. Lucky for him, Julio is strong. And I guess without making y'all wait any longer, let's load this thing up. All right, let's go talk to Juan. Hell of an office, Juan. Killing is art and science. Danny, back for more chaos, I see. Want me to make you the best Supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. Juan's weapons. Okay, Supremos and Resolver weapons. Volta. Emit an EMP pulse to knock over enemies, disable security systems, and enable vehicle hacking. Cool. Oh, you know I just realized? I haven't used my Supremo yet. I've just been using the resolver weapon. The flamethrower? I thought it was the same thing, but obviously it isn't. Next one, Phantasma. Create chaos by launching poison gas onto the battlefield that can turn enemies against one another. I like enemies fighting each other. Furioso. Emit an explosive ring that roasts enemies and press jump to thrust forward mid-air. Okay, the Supremos cost depleted uranium. Let's check out the resolver weapons. They also take uranium. So I'll have to choose wisely. I can only pick three and they cost 100 each. El Susuro, nail gun. El Besito, poison cloud. A rocket launcher. And a shotgun with a shield attachment. Well, I'm definitely going to get the poison gas. I also want the rocket launcher. And I can get one more. Uh, I think the nail gun might be good for stealth. Yeah, let's get the nail gun. Alright, let's take a look around. Check out Juan's workshop he has here. Got some metal. And a workbench. Okay, this is kind of nerdy, but look at him spray painting. You can actually see the paint coming out of the can. That's actually really cool. Let's check back here. Oh, this is the cave that we came into. Alright. Nice, there's some stuff in here too. Nope, I'm good for now. Thanks for checking on me, Juan. Okay, let's go talk to Clara. See what the plan is. This is a cool little area. Wonder how big the island is. Got some areas to practice shooting. Oh man, it's Julio and Lita's song. Chow, chow, chow. This 
so many walls, not sure where to go. Another dead end. Lovely. Okay, this looks like the place. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark, last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barzaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we gut Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See, and you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See, you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.
All right, that was a lot of cutscenes. We have officially joined the revolution. Quick rundown, we got a couple of allies we have to convince to join us. And with each ally, there's also an enemy in that location. Clara recommended to go to the Monterio family first, so we'll do that. I would normally go bottom to top, like on the map to get closer to Anton. And honestly, the Monterios would have been the last place I would have gone since it's so close to Anton. But she recommended it, so. Danny, listen to one. You kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Look at that sunset. How beautiful. Surprisingly, the boats are easy to drive. I think it's just horses and driving cars that are my struggle. Anyway, let's go meet the Ontarios. Here's a little village, I'll just park on the beach. Lara, who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your inn. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. Honestly, Philly sounds a lot like Nick from Five, one of our companions. Maybe we'll get planes and helicopters if he's at an airstrip. Another idol. I cut out. Daddy issues this doesn't age. seem like a conversation oh, I, I should be I, eavesdropping um, on. Castillo is the first adult thing I've ever done. <sighs> okay, but what do I tell Papa? The truth. Fuck you, come mierda. How about we take this truck? Another guard to bribe, it looks like. I'm gonna call off Guapo, so another guard doesn't have to die, and we can actually get some scoop from the guard. Here, Guerrilla. Tell me what you know. They killed my brother for wanting to be a Guerrilla. Here's where you can find the supplies. Thanks. In an odd way, I really like this truck. It's like an old school small town vibe. I like the blue color. I kind of like it. Um, excuse me, sir. You're backing into me. Look where you're going. Weather station. Hey, Clara. Know of any reason the military would take over a weather station? You're in the West, right? I've been wondering about that place myself. See if you can find a computer. It must be logging whatever they're up to. Sure. I'll take a look around. Another FND base to take. Wait. There's a side mission up there. And a cache. All right, I gotta go up there real quick. Um, that's a tank just casually driving around.
Well, not a person, it's a poster. Hola, is this Yami? Found your number on a poster about racing. Oh, if you like racing, you call the right number. We do it guerrilla style. Each track is marked with checkpoint flares you gotta drive through. Try to beat the best time. You in? Fuck it. I'll try it. That's the racing spirit right there. I like you already. Suerte! Racing. That sounds fun. Let's check out the gloves we got. Gather ammo and pesos from dead soldiers from much further away. Uh, what does my watch do again? Improved general defense. Yeah, let's put these gloves on. I'm gonna take one of these horses. Yeah, I know the level on the watch is three and the gloves are only one. But I also like to be able to pick up pesos and ammo from the guards and not having to walk directly on top of them. That's really nice. And if they don't work, I'll just go right back to the watch. We're going off-roading, people. We're in the south. We're here. Yes, I can already see the call station for planes. Easy. This place is colorful. Got some side missions, it looks like. All right, interception. And more caches. Okay, let's talk to Philly. You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say it was coming? Clara, Libertad. Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> Chorzo. But I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. OK. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. That's what he said, what did you want? Philly Pachic, baby. <laughs> want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, oh. our backbone. His family's gonna save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, Baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outgas plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh, man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, 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 next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. I swear that is the cutest dog I've ever seen. And he's on wheels. He had such tiny legs. Hey, there's Clara doing her speech. What else we got around here? 
something else back there. Ooh, a treasure hunt. You don't have to tell me twice. I'll go digging for treasure. Alright, I think we're ready to meet Baby Montero. Uh, I'm gonna take the four-wheeler. Sorry, horse. I haven't driven the four-wheeler yet. And it's probably faster than a horse. For the try. Really? Who's this? Danny. You know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up. Oh, the hero. Que hola. What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner party. Except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the west now. It's a plantation. It's an old building with tobacco all around. This bala got her size on the lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The hotel's playing quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. Dog, get out of the way. Dog, no! Why did he do that? He made me kill him! Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Getting there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. It'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. Why is this man putting poison in the middle of the road? Crazy. Got me dying of COVID over here. Coughing so much. Gotta take out that alarm. I love my loot, people. I'm sorry if I'm looting too much. A while back, my dad and I would play Division 2 together. And every time we picked up loot, we'd say... <laughs> I am loot. It was the best. And so every time I pick up loot now, all I think of is I am loot, but I'm like holding myself back from saying it because no one would understand. seeing anyone. I think it's clear. I'm going to put on my poison mask real quick. I just want to see if it actually helps because I want the because I want the loot and the poison. Huh? Well, apparently not.
Well, the coughing just cut out. <laughs> Yeah, I think this place is dead. There's no one here. Oh, I guess that's why. They're all dead. Nice, we got a shotgun. Well, I think I hear someone upstairs. Oh, gotta go the other way. This espada isn't fucking around. There's a camera. Okay, let's head upstairs. Can't go this way. Well, he's dead. What the fuck is happening up there? Guess we found baby Montero. You don't want to lose that man. He's executed people for much. Stop! Please! Stop! Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You, baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? <gasps> Please don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Got what you need? No. But it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right again. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. The way I caught that knife. Let's take the horses oh outside. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get out of here. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Intruders! Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Military is going to be on our ass. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Binga! We got trouble! There you are! <laughs> Oh, dang, I can't reach. I'm moving. That was 
was weird. She was making a run for it like we were dipping and then she headed back the other way. Another poison guy. That's everyone. Mierda. So much for quiet. Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. All right. So I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, we're going to meet Carlos, head of the Monterio family. Bye.